staying inside is probably um, is, is probably the way to go if you're a rich professional athlete. Now that that makes sense. The other part of it doesn't really. Four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. You can also email me at Doug the Doug Show dot com from Ducking and Dodging. He says Facebook is for old people, Instagram is for young people. My daughter said that to me in as many words. My daughter had a Facebook account at one point, and she hasn't used Facebook in probably three years. And I asked her why, you know, why is she on Instagram and not Facebook? She said, Daddy, Facebook for old people. It's very depressing, man, to know that at any time, anytime I go into an establishment, I could be dubbed as the old guy in the club. And also, my daughter puts me in the old people category as far as social media. From Dre, sneaking in the chat well, she says, Doug, I sent you an email yesterday asking to shout my daughter out for her 14th birthday tomorrow. You replied and said, cool, I got you. Then today you forget. No, I didn't. Happy birthday to my man Dre sneaking in the chat. Wells' daughter. Happy birthday. Shit. Damn it. Listen, man, I wear a lot of hats around here, bro. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats around here, bro. I apologize, man. Dre, happy birthday to your daughter. Um, she lear- she turns 14. What's her name? Yeah, he doesn't say. Let's say Baby Wells, uh, who turned 14 today. Happy birthday from the Doug Stewart Show and from the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Happy birthday. Oh, 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 you know what? I just remembered this. I think Dre also said and, and got a request. Uh, I got a request from his daughter for me to sing happy birthday to her. Man, I, I really appreciate that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! So happy birthday to your daughter, Brother Wells. Happy birthday from the Doug Stewart Show. From Derek, from Derek, he says, Stevie Wonder is somewhere applauding right now. Thank you, Derek. Happy birthday to you. From uh, Ghost Dog, uh, Ghost Dog, not Ghost Dog, Ghost Dog, he says, the voice of an angel. Thank you. Thank you, Ghost Dog. From Sidney Jackson, who's been very condescending the whole week long. Uh, He says, yes, sir, sing, Doug. Uh, Some smiling, uh, happy emojis, clapping hand emojis, fire emojis. But then he's got some some watermelon emojis. What the fuck? I don't, I don't get that part of it, sir, but thank you very much anyway. Uh, Brian Hill, hands raised, clapping. Thank you, Doug, for that quick little concert from Derek. That's uh, a big-time, great birthday present for my daughter, Doug. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. 
uh, from Sandman. Old people always trying to join Facebook now. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, people in their 60s and 70s on Facebook. But you know what the great thing about Facebook is, man, and you listen to the Doug Stewart Show? And I've had this conversation before, man. Without Facebook and social media, like people that you went to high school with and that you grew up with, you know without social media, 90% of the people that you grew up with and went to high school with, I read a story about this a couple of years ago, like 90% of those people you never see again in your life. You, you, you understand that? You don't know what's going on with them. Uh, half the time you don't know where they're at. Like before, what was the first thing that came out? Uh, what was the first social media thing that was big that everybody was on? Um, somebody will tell me in the chat room on speaker.com. Ooh, somebody will tell me. Uh, but anyway, without social media, like you do re- realize that you would never see a lot of people. You would lose touch with most of the people that you grew up with that you went to school with, you would never, ever see them again. You would have no idea what's going on in their lives. You would never, you know, know about their their families and their kids and see pictures of them, you know, at an older age. Uh, For the most part, man, when you leave your hometown, MySpace, thank you, Stewies. Uh, Before MySpace, man, when you left your hometown, when you graduated from high school and you moved to another town, that was pretty much it for 90% of the people that you grew up with. You never see them again. You never see them again. And Facebook, man, it's been a curse a lot of times, man, but it's been a blessing. Like, like you, when you go home, think about it. When you go home, how many of the people do you see when you go home that you grew up with? What, two or three? Two or three out of the thousands of people that you grew up with in your neighborhood, people that you went to high school with? Think about that. But you see them all, or you at least see pictures of them, and you can have a back and forth comment with them in a conversation on a post you can inbox them you can dm those people because of social media so it's definitely a curse a lot of times uh but it's definitely a blessing man i'm telling you (laughs) tiffany pool in portland she says i found my fourth grade boyfriend from palestine texas He's a jazz musician now, Arthur Sherrod. Exactly. Like, we talk about it all the time, man. I, I, uh, I'm friends with people that I went to summer camp with back in 1982 that you knew good and well you would never see that person again. Like, I, Tiffany's talking about an old boyfriend of hers. Like, I had a summer love, man, one summer at Camp Bob Cooper, 4-H camp in Somerton, South Carolina, that was back in 1981. And then her face popped up. Her name popped up in her face. Obviously, she's older. You know, she's in her mid-40s. And when that was going on, I was like 11 years old. And, like, I never thought I'd see that person again in my life. And her face popped up, man. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I'm telling you. Uh, Tiffany Poole in Portland once again. She says, well, Rel, he was in the USA Today. He was allegedly involved in a huge car threat ring right off the ships. From J. Clyde, since the show, social media made getting more newsy easier. It connects people, literally and figuratively. <laughs> literally and figuratively. Fell pay. Seeing old flames from back in the day. I click on their Facebook pages, praying they done got ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what? But when you click on that page and they're looking fine as hell, you say to yourself, damn, laugh out loud. Yeah, another one got away. <laughs> right. It, it's, it's, it's very interesting to see how people age. Um, You know, people that you haven't seen. Like, I've got people that I'm friends with on Facebook that I knew in, like, middle school. And for one reason or another, they moved away. And I never saw them again. And then their face would pop up on Facebook, and I'd be like, damn, they look familiar. And I'd look at the name and like, oh, that's so-and-so. Him and his family moved away to New York back in 1978. I never thought I'd never see that person again. Look at that. Oh, man, that's great. For real, by my tie, Scott, I see some of my old Johns. And if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show and 
to street vernacular, John is a Philly word. <laughs> so John primarily, J-A-W-N, John primarily is talking about women, but I've heard people from Philly, one of my uh, best friends in the world, one of my LBs, my man Guat, uh, it, it, they use the term John in Philly like people in, in Georgia lo- use the term shawty, same way. Um, Sorrell says, I see some of my old Johns that I hit back in the day on Facebook. I shake my head at some of, some of them like, what the heck was I thinking? Yeah, there's a lot of that going on too. A lot of people don't age well. A lot of people don't age well. A lot of people do age well. Like a lot of people, you know, kind of like that ugly duck syn- uh, syndrome back in the day where they were the ugly duckling and then they blossom into this beautiful swan <laughs> you know later on in life so i'm telling you man facebook is definitely a blessing it is it is reconnecting me to a lot of people that i never thought in a million years that i'd see ever again ever again yeah and i'm sure it's the same with y'all as well man 404-382-0338 you can also email me at doug at the doug stewart show.com when we get back from the break it'll be hour number three we call it the power hour Yeah. Yes, sir. So we get back. We will get to this JT to three or JT three being fired from Georgetown. And what does it mean for the program? As well as uh, back in the chat, we'll talk a little bit of NFL as well as a couple of stories out there on uh, in the National Football League. So a lot to get to, man. Hour number three, the power hour. It's all about the Stewies. Don't go away. Cause I've been plotting on ways that I can run up in you But yet you playing these games Acting like I can't get you Girl, I can flip you in ways That'll make you think I missed you Girl, why you teasing me? I know you be needing me Them lanes you had ain't top of me I break your ass off properly I see your ass on top of me And me on top of you Doing all the nasty things you like Like we supposed to do yeah. This ain't what you used to I'm definitely up for different breed Be on the side, talk I'm everything you need So bring that body close so we can do this freaking thing Don't get scared now, nah. we doing everything Some 